Hey guys, so I want to do um, kind of a public breastfeeding rant. There have just been a lot of stories in the news lately about how disgusted people are by breastfeeding in public. Um, and these people who are so disgusted have all these solutions for all of us breastfeeding moms to not breastfeed in public. So um, if you watch Lucy, she does some videos and also on her Twitter she's posted some links to the transcripts or the audio of these, um, their morning radio shows where women, men, callers are talking about how disgusted they are by public breastfeeding. I'm not sick of hearing about public breastfeeding because I think public breastfeeding is important and um, if you're a breastfeeding mom, you're gonna be breastfeeding in public. However, I am very tired of hearing people give all their great ideas on how we can get around breastfeeding in public. Um, I'm gonna preface this by saying that I'm not against formula. If you formula feed, that's fine. Um, this rant is more my feelings on um, the rights of a breastfeeding mother. So um, I already did this video once. It was like almost 18 minutes long and I couldn't edit it down. These are some of the suggestions that these uh, radio hosts and callers have had about how we should breastfeed in public. They say, we sh why can't you breastfeed in the car on your way to wherever you're going? Well, um, you have to have your baby in a car seat. If the engine is turned on your car, your baby needs to be buckled in a car seat. Um, who takes their baby out of the car seat to, to breastfeed? It's against the law. It's not safe. Not a good idea. Um, the next thing, why don't you feed your baby in the car before you go into a restaurant or wherever you're going? Um, okay, well, it's summertime. It's 100 degrees outside. The inside of the cars are 100 and, uh, I don't know, 20 degrees. They warm up very fast. Um, gas is expensive. You don't want to keep your car running to keep the air on when you can go inside and sit in some place that has AC. Um, same thing in the winter. You don't want to sit in a cold car and have to have it running to have the heat on. Um, and you don't want to sit in the car without the heat or the air because... Um, Babies can die in 15 minutes in a car um, that doesn't have air conditioning, like if the windows are rolled up and everything, because they can't control their body temperature once it gets that high. So, yeah, that's not a good idea. Um, okay, why don't you feed your baby in the restroom? Well, do you want to eat in a restroom? I don't want to feed my baby in a restroom. I don't want to leave the people I'm with to go nurse my baby in the restroom. Um, it's not clean. You have to isolate yourself. Um, it's not comfortable. There's usually not a place to sit unless you're somewhere really nice where there's like a little lounge. Um, no one should have to eat in the bathroom. No one should have to feed anybody in the bathroom. Um, Oh, okay, why don't you nurse your baby under a cover? Um, have you ever tried to nurse a baby under a cover? It usually works from the time they're like newborn until they're about four months old. And after that, good luck. Um, my son thinks it's a game. He plays peekaboo with me. Or he'll just throw it off because he gets mad. Um, it's a good idea, cover your baby. However, it doesn't work. And... If you've ever used a cover, it's a lot more noticeable that you're breastfeeding than if you don't use a cover. You have a big thing draped over you. Um, yeah, if you want to draw attention to yourself, you can wear a cover. That being said, you, as long as your baby lets you wear the cover, you're covered, but you're definitely going to draw attention to yourself, so it's not really that discreet. Um, if you wear appropriate clothes, then, you know, that's pretty discreet too. You can cover everything you need. And then the last thing that all these people suggest is, well, why couldn't she bring a bottle? Or why couldn't you feed the baby before you left? Well, okay, um, a lot of breastfeeding moms don't have an unlimited amount of milk. 
in their fridge. It's not like you can go get your gallon of breast milk and fill up a bottle. It doesn't work that way. And even if it did, every time your baby eats, you need to be nursing or pumping. That's the only way to keep your supply up. So if you give a bottle, you need to be nursing, which you're not going to be if you're um, giving a bottle, so you need to pump. And if you don't pump, your supply drops. Um, not that day, but the next day or the day after that. So you can't. It doesn't work like that. Um, so you can breastfeed in public or you can pump in public, but pumping in public, you going to show the world a lot more than if you were just nursing. So those are all the suggestions that people, uneducated people, have offered. Um, almost every single suggestion that I hear can be shot down. The only thing I have ever seen that I appreciated as a nursing mother that helps you not breastfeed in public is a mother's room. Um, some places have mother's rooms, and I know when my son was little and he had to be nursed every hour and a half, um, anywhere we went, drive time included, I would almost have to nurse when I was out because once you're in the car, like, if I'm driving across town, it, I could be in the car a half hour there, a half hour back, and then, um, that leaves like a half hour to do whatever I need to do, and if I'm going to be gone longer than that, I'm going to have to feed when I'm out. So, um, some places I've been to have mother's rooms, and um, Babies Are Us is one of the places. They do have a mother's room, and I took advantage of it. I would go to Babies Are Us because they had a mother's room, because I don't like breastfeeding in public, but I have to do it. So, um, for me, I appreciated the mother's room. Now, some people don't want to leave the company they're with to go breastfeed. And that's fine. So um, it is a nice option to have a mother's room um, for the for women who don't like to breastfeed in public but have to. Um, okay, so I do breastfeed in public. Um, some of the places I have breastfed are the zoo, hockey games, um, the mall. Uh, I have done it in parking lots, um, parks. And it's so funny because the place I get the most looks, believe it or not, is at the zoo. <laughs> and I get looks all the time. I'm just waiting for someone to come up and say something to me because seriously, when you're at the zoo, um, you know what animals do. They're animals. You could see them do anything. You could see them eating poop. You could see them throwing poop. You could see them mating. You can see them nursing. Um, so for someone to give me a dirty look for feeding my son at the zoo, I'm like, really? Because you have to explain all these same things to your kids from the animals. Like, and it, it kills me. We have an elephant at our zoo who has a baby elephant. And the baby elephant's like two, and it's still nursing. And everyone oohs and ahs and thinks it's so cute when the elephant nurses. And they turn around and see a nursing mom, and they like, give us this look and I'm like are you serious you think that's cute and this is disgusting and the thing is people are so uneducated so you just kinda have to let it roll off your shoulders they don't understand how it all works um, and I wish for a day they could be in our shoes because they're just that uneducated they don't understand okay and my final thing to say is seriously if you are someone who um, is disgusted by breastfeeding why are you looking why are you watching I don't understand people will look at you and give you a dirty look for nursing in public but they they're looking why are they looking look away like no one is making you look at me seriously <laughs> I can't get over that people complain about being disgusted in a restaurant about breastfeeding mother so don't look it's not that hard it's way easier than the things we have to go through to be able to breastfeed so that's all I have to say and I'm just really irritated by people who give us such a hard time um, I don't normally rant but I've just heard so many stories lately about all this and I just wanted to get it 
all that out there. So um, that is it, guys. Thank you.